Hello everyone, my name is Dorothy Chia and you're watching my vlog, Life of a Piano Teacher. Today I'm going to talk about the topic of piano practice. And I think it's a very important topic because a lot of teachers, we take on students, but uh, we do not sit down and tell the student that practice comes with the, uh, together with the decision of taking up piano lessons. Uh, we fail to inform parents that they need to encourage and ensure that their kids practice the piano. If not, then the, the idea of taking piano lessons is actually a fruitless task. Yeah? Because uh, you can't really learn anything uh, if, you, if you come to lesson and learn, but you go home and you do not practice. It's like you take uh, a cake baking course and you watch the instructor bake a cake, but you didn't have any hands on and you went home, you brought home the recipe and you did nothing. That doesn't make you a baker. You actually learned nothing. You could eat the cake, but you didn't, you wouldn't know how to bake the cake. All right, so the same thing. So what is it about practice that, uh, that I can share with you today? So very easy. I'm just gonna give you a, a little, small little secret that I share with every student. Think of something that you do every day, all right? Do you brush your teeth every day? Do you eat every day? Do you shower every day? Well, if you decide that you're gonna learn piano, then there's one more thing that you need to do every day. You need to practice. Okay, so how to go about this? I usually encourage all my students Think of a time that you can actually uh, commit to, to a practice time. So, for example, you could say that I practice daily at 6 p.m., just an hour before dinner time, okay? Which means every day on the dot, 6 p.m., I practice, then eat dinner. 6 p.m. tomorrow, I practice piano, then I eat dinner. Wednesday, I practice piano, then I eat dinner. So every single day, you're building up a good habit, you're building up a routine, and this should be done actually preferably on the very first day that the, the child learns piano. Why? The moment that this, this habit is established, it can go autopilot. The child, after a while, will just grow into that routine and no questions asked, it has already been part and parcel of their growing up years. And it's so much easier to teach the child when they have this routine established at home. Okay, so my second uh, piece of advice is commit to this uh, practice time. That means regardless of how you feel on that day, it is not based on how you feel, you just stick to the task. It's like you don't go by, today I'm not brushing my teeth because I don't feel like brushing my teeth. No, you don't. So the same thing, you do it regardless of how you feel, okay? However, the third point, you do allow yourself the leeway that if on days that you, uh, um, you have more time, so for example, weekends where you are at home on school holidays or on um, uh, a public holiday, all right, where you have more time to play with, then practice more. So 6 p.m., you could be practicing till 7.30 or 8 o'clock. You could be doing a two-hour practice session, all right? Or on days where you have a lot of schoolwork, you have an exam tomorrow, you are sick today, then you could actually practice less. You could say, okay, I'll just do 10 minutes. I'll just run through my skills, all right? But what you want to do is to stick to the daily practice. You can allow yourself to practice more, practice less, but don't let it slide. Don't let it ever have a day where you say, okay, I don't feel like practicing, uh, therefore I, I don't practice. Because the moment you let it slide, then one day you can do it, then it will gradually procrastinate to two days and three days, and before you know it, your next piano lesson is up. So I hope you found this helpful. So let me recap, set a practice time and stick to that practice time, commit to it 
and this commitment must be done the first day that you decide that you're going to take piano lessons. And thirdly, do allow yourself the leeway of practicing more or practice less depending on how much time you have. But do not let the practice time slide because it goes hand in hand. If you um, stick to practice and you practice well, then automatically your playing should also improve. So have uh, an enjoyable uh, piano lesson and I hope you make great progress and I hope you thought this was helpful. Do subscribe, do like my video and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.